I'm Claire Pelletro from clairepels.com, and today I'm going to give you a quick tour of Facebook's new interface for their advertising tool, the Power Editor. They've actually been rolling out the changes for the past few months now, so I wanted to give you a tour to show you just where everything is. That way you can save a lot of time when you are setting up your own ads by not having to look for every moving piece that now might be in a different place. In the next video, I'm going to give you more of a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how I set up ads for myself and for my clients, as well as some of the best practices that you can use to make the most out of your advertising budget. So I usually get to the power editor by coming over here to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manage forward slash power editor. Remember, you have to be in Chrome in order to use the Power Editor. So if you don't have Chrome, pause this video, go download it, and come back to us. So the very first thing you have to do is download to Power Editor. These are all of your accounts that you manage, your advertising accounts. You may only have one here, and that's totally fine. Uh, just select the account, hit continue. If you had any unsaved changes, you don't want to download to the Power Editor because they will be removed. Then over here on the left-hand sidebar is where you can find all of the campaigns either that you're working on, that you've run before. Sometimes in the Power Editor, you can get turned around and actually not be able to find the very campaign you were working on. If that happens, you wanna come over here maybe look at all or active or recently changed. So then you've got campaigns, your create campaign button, export and import, which I hardly ever use. You shouldn't have to use it unless you're doing massive campaigns, uh, many at the same time. And this would make that a little faster, but the power editor itself is such a great tool that I don't have any need to be importing and exporting my campaigns. So then you've got ad sets, which is another level that Facebook introduced inside the, the Facebook ad structure before it was campaigns and ads. And now you've got ad sets in the mix. I use ad sets just to segment out my target audience. I'll go into more detail about that in the next video. So you've got create ad set and this is actually where you're going to be setting this budget and schedule. You used to do that over in campaigns, um, but now each ad set, so each different target audience can have its own budget and its own schedule, which is great. And over here, ads, create ad. Now I use the duplicate button a lot. Uh, occasionally delete if you know I've created something that's just a mistake and then I don't want to keep uploading it to the power editor I might delete an ad. The other tools that are important for the power editor which used to be over here on the left hand sidebar are now over here in ad tools so basically the ones I use the most are audiences and conversion tracking there's also reporting but I usually get to reporting via the campaign dashboard. Um, this is also a handy button to go straight there. Um, but if you are setting up your audiences, you just come over here, create it right here. Again, you can also create an audience by first creating an ad and then saving the audience with this button. That's very handy. Um, or you can do your more advanced audiences like targeting people with an, with emails, targeting people who have come and visited your site. You're going to do all of that over here in audiences with, with create audience. Um, then you have conversion tracking, which um, if you read my blog or watch any of my other videos, you know that I'm pretty obsessed with conversion tracking. If you're not tracking the conversions of your ads, you're literally throwing away lots of money. So that's all I'm going to say for now. This is where you set that up over here with create pixel again on the blog you can come over there and check out the article that i have that gives you step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to do that for your wordpress website or if you're using lead pages which is a, a great tool to use in conjunction with facebook ads so that here you're going to see it opens up another tab you can pop right back into the power editor and once you've set up 
conversion tracking and you've got your audiences already set up, then you're just going to stay primarily here in the power editor. So that is it. That's the, those are the most important pieces of the power editor. Of course, you've got the upload changes button, which anytime you've created something and you essentially want to save it, you need to upload it. Um, keep in mind that that will probably start your ads running unless you've set a specific schedule over in ad sets. In the next video, which you can watch just by clicking right the bottom of this video here, you'll get my step-by-step -step guide for how I set up my campaigns, how I divide things up into ad sets, and then which specific ads I create in order to get best results. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or come over to clairepels.com and leave your comments on the blog. I'll see you there.